Picture this. It's lunchtime on Friday afternoon, and while you enjoy your favorite cheeseburger, you glance up at the bar's television, which is on CNN and showing footage of a nighttime battle in a major Middle Eastern city. When you get home later that evening, you kiss your spouse and walk through the living room, where your oldest son is playing the newest Call of Duty game, blasting through a similar town with the top military faction and state-of-the-art weaponry. After dinner, you and your spouse decide to go on a spontaneous movie date. During the previews, gunshots rip through the theater as Channing Tatum and Dwayne The Rock Johnson are cast as badass soldiers in the next G.I. Joe blockbuster. The movie was good, but once you return home, you're both tired and fall asleep with the TV on. You wake up at 2 a.m. to American Sniper on HBO. You may see a pattern here, but really, it's just another day in the United States of America. We live in a time where war and militarization is part of our culture. Even when the war itself is thousands of miles away from American shores, international conflict is almost constantly at the forefront of our media culture. No, believe it or not, this is no coincidence. The American media and the American military endorse, if not outright enforce, the publication of wartime media and the blasting of it across the front pages of Americans' favorite news outlets. All of this is part of a process to create what John Arquilla and David Ronfelt refer to as net war citizens. And guess what? You, yes you, are one of them. In this day and age, modern Americans are exposed to a level of awareness of war that is relentless and almost entirely one-sided. But in a world where technology is so expansive, where anyone can say anything they want, why are we generally given just one side of the argument, especially in an argument that is so important to our national security? The answer is simple. It brings out the interactive patriot in us. When we see Americans fighting and winning, for an American cause, we feel proud. And let's face it, everyone likes winning, so we want more of it. And between the drive for increased TV ratings and military recruits, the media and defense agencies are happy to oblige. Have you ever noticed how things you see on the news resemble a video game, and a video game's plot resembles what you see on the news? That's Net War at work. And for those who want to take it to the next level, Net War also helps develop a thing called a virtual citizen soldier. Basically, a virtual citizen soldier is someone who deeply engages with the warfare media blitz dealt to the public and feels the urge to respond to the call of duty and enlist in the military. Obviously, not all these people are cut out for the front lines, but in today's technological environment, computer skills are as valuable as ever, and many who apply end up finding some niche to fulfill their duty. But it all starts with media. What you see in multimedia projects like Battlefield, Act of Valor, and Live on Fox News may seem like painless entertainment, but to others, they are an avenue in which to express their inner warrior. And to the network CEO,